everyone, this is Melissa. I'm coming to you from Washington, D.C. Yes, I finally arrived. And as many of you have probably figured out, Twitter suspended me from my account without any stated reason. So it all started when I announced on Twitter that I would be visiting President Trump at the White House because I am part of the Young Conservative Black Leadership Summit that is being organized by Candace Owens. And uh, so I sent out a tweet and I was really excited about visiting President Trump. And within an hour of tweeting that, Twitter locked me out of my account. So I went through a few hoops, including having to put my phone number and having have them sending me a text message to confirm my account, and then my account was unlocked. But four days later, which was um, two days ago, Twitter then suspended my account without any notice, without any notification, without any any stated reason so I didn't get a reason why so my account just went black so I emailed Twitter and they didn't respond and um, so basically I don't know there's no reason that has been given as to why my account has been suspended and uh, most of you who follow me already know that I don't tweet anything that's profane. I don't harass anybody. I don't say anything violent. I, I've never said anything that incites any kind of violence. So, you know, it just makes me wonder why am I being silenced? Why am I being shut down? Is it because I'm visiting President Trump and I'm going to be with 400 other young black conservatives and we're all going to the White House and Twitter doesn't want me to document that. I mean, they haven't given me any reason as to why my account has been suspended. I, I don't understand. So, I mean, I guess this is the country we live in now where, you know, if you just tweet talk about the things that you value, conservative values, and you love America, you love your president, then that's offensive to Twitter and you're gonna be shut down. So I guess that's the kind of country we live in today. And that's, that's really sad. So I've emailed Twitter and um, I haven't yet received any response. So I don't know when and if I'm ever going to be back on Twitter. Um, you know, I have 118,000 followers, and uh, right now when I log into my Twitter account, it says you have zero followers. So, you know, they may reinstate my account, and then I may not even have any followers anymore. Who knows? So, it's just been really tough and really sobering to really ponder on the fact that, you know, in America, you can be silenced for your views. And yeah, so anyway, but I am excited to be in Washington, DC. I do have a an Instagram account. It doesn't really have a lot of followers. But if you'd like to follow my journey visiting President Trump and the Young Black Conservative Leadership Summit. You can follow me on my Instagram account and that is sweet Twitter, like the word Twitter, tot, sweet tweeter tot. And uh, you can follow me there on Instagram and I will be updating pictures and videos and yeah, it's gonna be fun. So in the meantime, I'm going to keep trying to get a hold of Twitter, trying to find out, try to find out why I have been suspended and how I can get my account back. And uh, yeah, and uh, I just, I just hope 
I can get to the bottom of it. But if not, I'll just continue to go on Instagram and Facebook and wherever I can speak because I am not going to be silenced. I'm going to keep speaking my views. I'm going to keep supporting our president. I'm going to keep supporting conservative values. And I'm not going to be intimidated or silenced. So anyway, um, I hope you guys are well. And I thank you very much for all the support because even though I'm suspended on Twitter, I can still see what everybody's saying, but I can't respond. I can't say anything. So it's like standing in a room and you can't say anything. You know, you're just, you've just been silenced. So I can see what everybody's tweeting. I can see all the support and everybody talking about how I've been suspended. And um, I also had a GoFundMe page um, for my trip and it's completely exceeded what I had um, asked initially for. So I'm really, really grateful and thankful to everybody for your support. And um, I hope um, I'll be back on Twitter soon. Anyway, I hope to see everybody soon, and I will be posting stuff on Instagram. So thank you very much, and have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.